Hi, Liz from the customer success team here. We're going to take a look at how you can understand your memory timeline. In Timely, in the week view, if you select a certain day, such as Wednesday here, you'll be brought to the day view for that day. If we head back to the week view, alternatively, you can hover over the day and see new entry. If you select this, you'll be brought to the hour editor, where you will also be able to see your memory timeline on the right. Or you have the option of simply going to the day view to see your memory timeline on the right side as well. Now, your memories might look different from the ones that you see on my screen now. Memory is an application which you install onto your device and it captures everything that you do throughout the day and puts it here on the timeline. If you're in an open and active window for at least two minutes, that time will show up on the memory timeline. We have several matching logos that we provide uh, to help you identify the different tools and systems that you're working in. If we don't have a logo that matches the tool that you're working in, you'll see a simple arrow up with the Timely logo. Your information will still be captured. We just simply do not have the logo to match the tool that you're working within. The minute you install the memory application, the activity on your computer is already being captured. Up here on the top right, you can see all of the integrations that you currently have connected. To select more integrations and connect them with your Timely account, go ahead and click the plug icon to be brought into the ecosystem tab. Here you can see the full list of time tracking integrations available and choose to connect them. Each integration will give you a deeper understanding of what you're doing within that tool or system and add it to your timeline here. The memory application only collects high level information from your device and puts it on the memory timeline. The information it collects is the title of the browser or the application that you're in, the URL if it is browser-based, the time frame that you're actually active in the window to give you a clear understanding of what you've worked on throughout the day. The memory inbox doesn't just consist of the timeline view. It also has a list option. The list option shows you all of the activities that you've worked on from the most amount of time spent all the way to the least amount of time. Play around with both to see which one fits your needs the best. I hope this helped you understand your memory timeline a little bit better.